So your client just told you that hypnosis is fake, that it's just pretending or worse, that it's mind control. And honestly, I get why they think that, but here's a brain scan that's about to change everything you thought you knew about hypnosis. I'm Tina Brigittini, holistic therapist and instructor, and for years, I was skeptical too. Stage hypnosis made it look like entertainment. Hollywood made it look like magic, but the neuroscience, that's what convinced me. This is one of the most powerful tools that you can use with your clients. So in the next few moments, I'm going to show you what is actually happening in the brain during hypnosis, why it works, even on skeptical clients, and the difference between stage hypnosis and clinical hypnosis, because they are not the same thing. So let's start with what is hypnosis, what it actually is. Here's the truth. It's a naturally occurring brain state. You've already been in hypnosis today, probably multiple times and you didn't even realize it. Have you ever driven somewhere and not remember the drive? That's highway hypnosis. It's called trance state. Do you ever get so absorbed in a movie that you forget that you're watching a screen? That's trance state. Do you ever zone out during a conversation and suddenly snap back? Yep, that's trance state. Your brain naturally shifts in and out of hypnotic states all day long. And clinical hypnosis just uses specific techniques to guide somebody into that state intentionally. So the question isn't, is hypnosis real? The question is, can we harness the natural brain state to help people change? And the answer is an absolute yes. But what actually is happening in the brain? This is where it gets fascinating. When somebody enters hypnosis, three major things happen. Number one, there's a brain wave shift. Your brain moves from the beta waves, that's the normal alert thinking state, into alpha and theta waves. Alpha is relaxed focus. Theta is the dreamy state right before falling asleep. And this is measurable on an EEG. It's not opinion, it's data. Number two, the default mode network quiets down. So this is the part of the brain that's constantly analyzing, judging, filtering information. And in hypnosis, it takes a back seat. That's why suggestions bypass the critical mind and go straight into the subconscious. Number three, increased neuroplasticity. FMRI studies show that during hypnosis, the brain becomes more receptive to creating new neural pathways. Translation, it's easier to change patterns, beliefs, and behaviors. Stanford University has an entire hypnosis research lab. Harvard Medical School uses hypnosis for pain. This isn't fringe, this is mainstream neuroscience. So when your client says, I don't think I can be hypnotized, what they're really saying is, I don't think I can relax and focus. And guess what? They already do that every single day. So here's where the confusion comes in. Most people think that hypnosis is what they see on stage. People clucking like chickens, forgetting their name, doing embarrassing things. And yes, that happens. But here's what they don't tell you. Stage hypnotists pre-select participants. They pre-select before the show even starts. They're testing the audience and they're looking for people who are highly suggestible, who are extroverted and willing to perform. And they weed out everybody else. So what you see on stage is the top 10% of responders in performance context. Clinical hypnosis is completely different. There's no performance, there's no embarrassment, no loss of control. The client is aware the entire time and they can even open their eyes, they can speak if they want to, and they can reject suggestions 
that they want to. So clinical hypnosis is about reducing anxiety, managing pain, releasing trauma, reprogramming limited beliefs, accessing subconscious mind. So think of it this way. Stage hypnosis is like a magic show. Clinical hypnosis is like physical therapy for the mind. Same tool, just a completely different application. And here's the part that blew my mind when I first learned it. Skeptical clients often make the best hypnosis subjects. Why? Because skepticism requires focus and focus is the gateway to trance. When someone says, I don't think this will work on me, they're actually hyper-focused on the process. They're paying close attention to every word, every sensation, waiting to prove it won't work. And that focused attention, that is hypnosis. Here's what I tell skeptical clients. You don't have to believe in hypnosis for it to work for you. You just have to be willing to follow instructions. Your brain will do the rest. And it does. I've worked with engineers, scientists, lawyers, people who analyze everything, and they go into a deep trance. And it's because their ability to focus is so strong. So the only people who truly can't be hypnotized are people who are actively intoxicated. People with certain cognitive impairments, people who refuse to participate, Everyone else, they can access trance. It's just a matter of finding the right induction method for their brain. So what you can actually do with hypnosis in your practice, for anxiety, hypnosis regulates the nervous system faster than almost any other technique. You can teach a client to drop into a calm in under five minutes, and for pain management, Hospitals use hypnosis for surgery prep, chronic pain, even childbirth. And it works because pain perception happens in the brain and hypnosis changes that perception. For trauma, hypnosis allows clients to process traumatic memories without re-traumatizing. You can reframe the experience at the subconscious level and for habit change, smoking cessation, weight loss, phobias, hypnosis rewires the automatic responses that keep people stuck. Practitioners working with a client in a calm environment, and here's the best part. You can teach clients self-hypnosis. They can take this tool home and use it every single day and your sessions become exponentially more effective because the work continues between appointments. If you are ready to go ahead and enroll in the full hypnosis program, go ahead and click the link below and I'll see you there.